And here we come with another thrilling episode of 3D Printing the Miniature Universe with Papa Jester. Alright, let's get into another episode. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hi. How y'all doing? Okay, so, it's taken me a long time to actually get this all together, but I finally got it all here. And so now, I'm going to do an unboxing video of all the new stuff I bought just to do this channel. <laughs> You don't know what I've gone through to get this stuff. Man. Oh, FedEx. Walmart. Amazon. Ooh, you've all tested my patience. Mmm. So as you can see, it's kind of cold. It's, this is... This is a special, this is a special hat. Mmm, it's got stories to it. Unfortunately, their stories can't tell you. Because the general public doesn't need to know my business. All you need to know is I got this hat because that's pretty. Anyways, so let's get on with this <sighs> unboxing video. Of 3D printing the miniature universe. All right, here we go. I have to be very careful with my old camera rig because I just broke it trying to get it into this position. All right, so first things first, let me monkey around with my computer. All right, let's see, what do we do first? Uh, no, I know. We'll do the tripod, because I actually need this thing. Like, I'm pretty sure this stand that I'm working with right now is gonna break at any second. It's the first 3D printed arm flexible cell phone camera stand that I printed. And it's held up for about a year now. But, you know, big difference between 3D printing and injection molded. Definitely durability. 3D parts don't tend to do so well with like uh, flex and hinge parts that are only, I'd say, four millimeters thick. Okay, so as usual, they like putting small boxes into big boxes. So much wasteful. And there's more packing. <laughs> Amazon Basics. You know, I found that if you're looking for stuff, if you go to Amazon and turn it, type into the search engine, shipped by Amazon and sold by Amazon, that takes you directly to all the stuff that still works. But people return because it's the wrong item, or they just didn't like it. Anyways, Amazon then turns around and sells it at a discount. Because it's still good stuff, but uh, somebody didn't want it for whatever reason, so they can't sell it as new, so they just put it on there and boom, Bob's your uncle. Well, why do I mention that? Well, that's simple. 
is I got this tripod stand that normally sells on Amazon for about $23. I picked up on the sold by Amazon for a total of $19. A few bucks here and there always says, oh, would you look at this. Screwing camera mount. Oh, look at this thing. that it's awesome and it's telescoping that's nice ooh well if I want to use my cell phone anymore with this I'm gonna have to buy another accessory because it's got the screw in for the camera there awesome 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 got the side screw to hold the telescoping that oh yeah this is the uh how do you work aha oh wow so yeah let's see Yeah, I can't get all of it in there, but there's a tripod. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, we're getting professional here, son! <laughs> so, this means that I can go up to the We Are Closed Studios and get a nice even picture instead of one that's kind of at an angle. And, unfortunately, since Pensacon got closed, I can't really use this at the end of our display booth for uh, our 3D printing and film us printing and interacting with the uh, crowds. I was going to get some lovely pictures of cosplayers and stuff. Anyways, yes, exactly what I wanted comes in this awesome case I really wasn't expecting it to be in the case I thought I'd wind up having to like buy some other like well, I guess this would be a bag oh and there's a level on it awesome but anyways I expected this I expected to have to buy like a bag or something to transport this in that is awesome all right uh Next, what is this? I can't re I think, I think I remember what this is. I think, yeah, yeah, this is the, uh, this is the light. Uh, so many cutting tools just to get into, get into things. Oh, there's another long scratch on my desk. Anyway, so this is, yep, this is the light. And I thought about going with a larger light, but I did some looking into these. And this, how do I get into this? Uh -huh. Another one, Amazon Fulfillment. Second Life Property. <laughs> Anyways, it's got the, uh, oh, look at that. 
Yeah. I was looking at it and the research I was reading is that uh, these LEDs, even the small ones, put out of a hell of a lot of light. So this is what I got for the camera for illumination. So all this extra black inky stuff won't be such a problem. Ooh, yeah. This is awesome. I have been so waiting to dig into this stuff. You cannot imagine. Yeah, this is why I got this light. Because, as you see there, you can connect multiples of them together to give you even more uh, light. Proliferation! So, yeah. That's good to go. I can't, uh, I can't wait to show my neighbor next door. He, uh, does a lot of YouTube. He's actually quite well versed on the subject. And, uh, he's been giving me pointers right and left. So, I've been trying to implement them, you know, like, honestly, if you, if you see something that I do on my, on my, uh, on my videos, or you have a question about something I do, like, uh, drop me a line. Let me know. Make a comment. Uh, post a comment. Um, check out my Facebook page. Ooh. It's 3D Printing the Miniature Universe with Bob Jester. Or I think it's just 3D Printing the Miniature Universe on Facebook. We have about, I think at last count, about 50 members on the page. There are people there that do uh, cosplay, do general printing, um, people do miniature printing, there's a couple of uh, uh, people that just specialize in the uh, STL file rendering. There's even a guy from India that makes, I think he said, I think, Gotta remember, uh, I don't understand whatever language they speak all that well. So, with him only speaking every second word in English, I think he said he made custom uh, sunglass frames. So, he'll take the uh, sunglass lenses from like the cheap sunglasses. He'll print up these custom frames and everything, refit the glass, and then sell them at, like, uh, roadside stands. They're really great. He says uh, it only costs him, like, 25 cents for, like, a dozen of these plastic, you know, sunglasses that you get away at your uh, kid's birthday party. And he turns around, prints out these frames, and sells them for, like, five, six dollars a piece. Or was it rupees? Anyways, it makes a profit off of it. Alright, so now I finally get to the package. Ah, oh, that just came today. That I have been dying to see. Oh, oh it's finally here. Ooh. This, my friends, is the package that I spent on that I picked up for $23 cheaper than listed. I even got to apply a coupon on so it was even cheaper. I wound up only paying like about $59 for this puppy. 
And the best thing is, there's the reason why. Yep. All this is from Amazon Warehouse. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Looks like they already got into this to make sure it was all here. <laughs> all right. So there's the microphone. Microphone manual. The lens cover. The remote control. And here's the camera manual. I don't know what this is. I'll look it up. <laughs> I've got so many of these things. There again, got so many of these things lying around. Ooh, here we go. Here is the microphone. Awesome sauce, baby. Awesome sauce. Hey, I uh, see that's something I didn't really notice before. See, when I was shopping for this thing on Amazon, they had this camera, or a camera, they had this microphone already slotted into the camera. And as much as I tried, many places I looked, I couldn't find whether, you know, this is my first time buying one of these cameras. I couldn't find out how this worked. Was this just screwed in? Did I need adapters or something? And this will slide right into my light. Hmm. I'm going to have to read up on how this thing works. Probably needs power and some other cord. Oh, oh, this is the camera mount. Yeah, the camera goes on the bottom here. Hey, hold it by this thing. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you know what they say. Make sure to read your manuals. And what else we got in here? Uh-huh, yeah. This probably goes to the microphone. It's probably how it transmits back and forth. And another one of these cables. So this one's a little bit different. USB to something else? Oh! Wow. Let's see what is in this bag. Huh. Well, this is a little bit... A little bit smaller than I thought. I thought it would actually be a, a little bit bigger. Ooh. Ready for play toy. Wow. These cameras have come a long way. I remember when I first saw a camcorder. Oh, gotta take the lens cover off. Oh, wow. Uh. 
I was hoping it came with an SD card. Oh, that's just another thing I'll have to buy. Like I said, I thought this would be a lot bigger. This is tea tiny. Oh, there's the record button. What's in here? Ah, uh, the microphone. What is that? Not really sure. Must be for the charge port and something else. Let's see what is in here. Oh, okay. What is that? Ooh, there's too much in here to stare at. So that's the new camera. And this right here. I think the IR stands for, uh, I gotta look it up again, but I think I got a camera that's got a thermal lens on it. I think that's what that means. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look it up in the manual again. But, oh, yeah. So, this is the new camera for my channel. This is what I'm going to be filming on from now on. I might include footage from my uh, phone, if some of you haven't guessed by now. <laughs> Up to this point, I've filmed everything on a uh, Samsung Galaxy 6? No, 7. Samsung Galaxy 7. Yeah, old, old phone. But, you know, it wasn't all that bad. So now, since I've got this, the next major thing is going to be stripping this thing of everything that makes it a phone. Switching all that over to the new phone. Oh, that's another task. I've got to set up the new phone, port my old number into the new phone, get it up and running. And then I got to strip everything out of here that makes this a phone, install some time lapse apps so I can use this for a time lapse camera. Yeah. Hmm. Well, next I will. Assemble this whole thing. Let me read through the manual real quick. Okay, I've got it. There are no instructions to assemble this. Alright. I got this. Alright, so... First off, we take a carrying handle and fix it to the bottom. We're not going to use this. Well, we could use this on a tripod. So let me screw this in the bottom here. And goes all the way forward, I guess. No. Well, we'll leave it back here. Okay.
There's a picture of this somewhere. Of course not. It does not... Yeah. Oh, well. I'll figure it out. be doing this wrong. There's got to be something I'm missing. That's it. This is the reason? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, well, this thing doesn't say anything about where all this goes. Huh. You think they'd include? I don't even really give you instructions on how to use the remote. Alright. So, I'm just going to assume... That this thing is supposed to snug down to the camera here. And this is supposed to tighten it up. Hmm. See? I don't get this. Hmm, okay. I am lost as how this is actually connecting. I mean, I can see the where. It just doesn't make sense on the how. Because apparently, this is long enough to get in there, but... The hole on the bottom isn't deep enough. Okay, well, we'll put this aside for now. I'm probably going to have to print up. Oh, yeah.
open up a spacer for it. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to print up a ring spacer. We'll take up take up some of the area. <laughs> this screw here <clears throat> I haven't got anything I can run in a pinch although I could make something up I have to print that up later alright so next off is yet another piece on this fine camera kit I guess that they don't tell you but this little thing right here, this little extra ring, supposed to lock this lens in place. Yeah. Glad I like puzzles, otherwise I never would have known they'd gone there. So this screws on till you get the label up. And then this piece screws down and locks it in place. Alright, so that part's taken care of. Now, next, we put the camera in the light. So we pull this. Oh, that can be powered. Hmm. I know it's supposed to go there like that. Oh, what's the microphone thing say? Let's see what this one says. Hmm. Look, we have its own stand. Okay, so there's the cable connector. Ah, I see. Like everything on here, this little port is for charging the microphone. All kinds of new stuff to learn about this thing. Oh, well, I can also use the microphone to go from my laptop to this here thing. Alright, so then that means that I can put this here light After I dumped it in, Papa Jester can learn new tricks. Tighten up that little screw thingy there, then put 
microphone in chat. Or I guess I could put it on the side chair. We tighten up that piece. Then we grab this piece. Plug it in chair. And then we come around here to the back. Back here. And plug in here. And there we have it. And of course, this will go up on a bipod. Wow. <laughs> Man, if I had something like this. The days I was with the ladies, Whew. I shouldn't mention that. Forget you guys ever heard that. Right. <clears throat> right. All right. Well, that's the end of the unboxing. Got a little bit clunky there at the end and still haven't figured out what to you how to... <clears throat> There's got to be another piece that was supposed to come with this. It just has to be. Because straight out of the box, this does not mount to the camera. Well, that's my unboxing video. Thanks for watching me. As far as you got. Maybe if you got to the end, who knows? You and me could become the best of friends. Anyways, I'm Papa Chester. And this is 3D printing in the miniature universe. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and remember, print whatever you want, but enjoy the printing. Have fun. Till next time. Uh, oh. That is one crazy uncircumcised old man. All right, thanks for watching. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. Comment on things you like to talk about. Tell me what you thought about the episode. Give me your input. I'd love to hear it. Also, don't forget to check me out on Facebook at 3D Printing in the Miniature Universe with Papa Jester. Stay tuned for more exciting episodes of 3D Printing the Miniature Universe with Papa Jester. Hey y'all, you have a good night.